And in Sarah, I sell small, small things. Because I do business. I do save water for my customers. But I can't take it from my pile of pump in my yard because it's not safe for drinking. We don't believe that the government get part to play in the, the pump because they say that NGO need to be facing the thing for us to repair it because we just from war. Liberia is a unique case. We have moved from a phase of emergency to development over the past few months. What government intends to do at this stage is to now bring some order to the environment, end the chaos, create a more coordinated framework, which will then lead to better planning, monitoring, evaluation of the services that are delivered. The World Bank's Water and Sanitation Program has come in to support the Ministry of Public Works in making a digital uh, map and inventory of all rural water points in Liberia. A map like that is, a, is really the precondition for on-scale, coordinated, targeted action in rural, in rural water. The technology that we use for mapping in Liberia is an open, new open source software called Flow, which you can upload to any Android phone, and this is the model that we were using for our mapping. Um, and it turns any Android phone into an integrated mapping device, which means that you click on the icon, you fill in the survey, and then you take a photo, and then you take a geolocation, and then you just press submit data, and all the data goes to the central computer. Once we have a clear idea of where areas are underserved, then of course it makes our planning better. Uh, we have an argument to be able to justify why we think resources should go to one county as opposed to another. So I think it will gradually take hold and it will become a project that we actually lay the basis for plenty of water and sanitation in Liberia.